Football is taking a hit literally as concerns grow over the number of concussions on all levels and the lasting impact of those injuries. New this morning, a look at just how doctors are trying to study the brains of young athletes to get a clearer picture on how concussions can impact them going forward, impacting the player and their brains. Every practice and every game, these college athletes hit the field. Ah! Their brains are being analyzed for dangerous blows to the head. A computer system on the sideline that records all of the impacts that are sustained. Dr. Michael McRae is a brain injury researcher with the Medical College of Wisconsin. The technology he's using is in the helmets. These sensors have accelerometers in them that allow us to measure the, the location of any impact. Right now, 300 of these special helmet sensors spread out between eight colleges and high schools in Wisconsin as part of the National Concussion Study. McCray says he's analyzed hundreds of concussions voluntary participants have endured. It's focused on understanding the acute effects, meaning what happens to the brain within minutes to hours of injury. His first major finding, concussion effects often linger in the brain several days after the athletes feel symptom free. Their studies now enforced in return to play protocols at high school and college football programs on an international level. Return to play has literally gone from 15 minutes 15 days. Rather than have concussed players sit idle, McCray says their research shows it's best to have them get back to light physical activity just after a day or two. Within the last 6 to 12 months, the NCAA came out with some more recommendations that I believe are direct results of this study. That's interesting. It's certainly been discussed uh, so much, especially over the last few years. Another major discovery from the brain sensors inside those football players' helmets, concussions don't just come from major hits. That's right. A lot of people assume that they do, but Dr. McCray says a lot of times it's just an accumulation of minor hits and moderate impacts that build up over several weeks' time. So there'll be more work on that going forward. Yeah, I remember talking to a doctor about this, and he said, you don't even have to be hit in the head. You know, right. you just be a it's the blow jarring to the stomach and, and, and give you that. So, so it's interesting. interesting.